Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys back to another video. Now, in today's video, I have that good old two for one. Now, in my last video, if you guys missed it, it is in the annotation above. But I asked you guys if I should do a handicap match. And you guys said, yeah, so why not? The first match is going to be all kicks. And this match right here that you guys see going up against the number one is going to be all elbows. Let's hop into this video, man. I hope you guys are ready. Let's get it. All right, guys. Checking out the tail of the tape of the first fight. Now, this dude is only 27 years old. That's pretty good. His reach is not long enough, so we might have a nice fight on our hands. Let's get it. All right. So, oh, my God. I don't even remember what this dude is good at. Uh, is he good at ground game, striking, what? It don't matter. I'm throwing kicks anyway. Come on. Come near me. Oh, slip that. Oh, head kick. Oh my god, the head kick. Come here, boy. Oh, oh, I tried to get him right there with a little slip. Ooh. Come on. I know I can knock this dude out. It shouldn't be hard. Come on. Oh, push kick. Hold up. Head kick. Ooh. Yo, I need to throw a little roundhouse in there. Uh-oh. Did I hit him? I don't know. There's no reaction. Come on, let me get my stamina back. Come here, bro. Why you running? Oh, slip. Nice head kick. Uh, yo, I am slipping a couple of these punches, though. Ah, I couldn't slip that. Yeah, I got you right back with a body kick, boy. Come on. Oh, slip. Head kick. Oh, my goodness. That's the move. Ah. What you got for me? What you got for me, baby? What you got for me? Come on. Throw one punch. Oh, <laughs> he threw two. <laughs> All right, come on. Ah, darn it. Come on. I know I got this one. I'm going to kill him with the roundhouse real soon. Watch this. Boom. Oh, there it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Oh, my God. Check the head damage. Somebody check it. Oh, good way to block. Well, he didn't block. He kind of got out of the way of that. So. Nice little jab. I tried to push kick him right there. Come on. Oh, nice uppercut straight. Uh, he blocked the push kick. Watch this, though. You want to block this, though? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Body kick. Get him. Come on. Run, 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 run. Run. Got him again. Another body kick. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, head kick. Oh my god. Oh, he fell. Oh, it's on. Oh my god. Get on up, baby. Get on up, baby. Come on. Get on up, baby. Here it come. Come on. Ah, don't grab me. Ow! Jesus Christ. I just made this dude bow down to the king. Hold on. I need to see the replay my darn self. I don't even know what just happened. I don't even know what. Hold up. Hold, hold up. What just happened? I, okay, I know we celebrating, but tell me what happened. Oh, my God. Did you got... Look at... He bowed down. Oh, another angle. Shwack him. Yo, almost broke his neck. Did y'all see that? His neck snapped back like... Wah, wah. Yo, he really tried to grab me, though, and then tried to throw a body kick. Oh, my gosh. What? Talk about a counter kick. Man, what a handicap fight, man. Only throwing kicks as my handicap. And I still got the knockout. Oh, my God. I can't believe it, man. I cannot believe it. Hey, guys, let me know inside the comments if you guys want me to have another handicap. Whether you guys want me to do only ground game, only clinch game. Uh, I know you guys don't want me to punch, of course, because I'm a punch guy. I be leaving dudes punch drunk. But let me know, man. I'm trying to put people night-night, man. That's all I like doing, man. Winning consecutive fights. Knocking people out. Just let me know what you guys want inside the comments, man. I still don't even know these two dudes that are on my team. But we're going to go ahead and celebrate with them. I'm not taking them to the club. And no, I'm not getting them no prostitutes. Oops. With that all being said, guys, check out this gif right here. I stopped this dude in his tracks. He literally fell to his knees. He bowed down to greatness. Let's go ahead and hop into the next fight, guys. All right, guys. So it is time to fight up against the number one contender. It's time to take his spot. He's two inches shorter than me. His reach ain't long enough. And he a lightweight. Literally, he a lightweight. He about to get his brains knocked off. I don't even know what that means, though. All right, guys, so I'm fighting against a 45-year-old man here. Um, I don't know how this is going to go, but uh, this is sponsored by Timberland. I don't know if you guys noticed the canvas, but it's pretty funny. Now, what I wanted to do in this fight, I wanted to try to treat it like a handicap fight. Now, I'm throwing a ton of elbows, as you guys know, right here. So the handicap is to only throw elbow shots. Now, you guys might notice that I threw two hooks there, but so the challenge was kind of lost on my part. 
But the way the knockout is going to happen is definitely via challenge. But you guys notice, man, he's already bleeding. It has a ton of head damage. He's trying to block as much as he can. He even shooting for takedowns and not even able to take me down just to get out of the way. Now, one thing that I can say is that he never gave up because most people, you know, when they're getting knocked out and stuff like that, they kind of bag back and, you know, they're like, oh, my God, my head damage is so bad. But he's fighting me, man. Look at him. He's throwing crazy shots right here. And I'm trying to grab his kick, but I couldn't do it right there. Now, he shoots for the takedown, and he finally gets what he wants. He gets me on the ground. And I can tell you guys right now, man, he is a submission artist. One thing that pissed me off about fighting dudes like this, my submission defense is terrible. So what I relied on was sheer heart. Don't know how I got out of that submission, but his stamina was halfway down. My stamina wasn't down that much. So, you know, I guess that's the reason why I got out. But I'm not out of the woods yet. I'm still on the ground. I'm still trying to get out. And this dude is not letting me up, man. He's advancing his position. He's he's literally got me by the balls. There's nothing I could possibly do on the ground here besides get back to side control and pray to goodness that I can get up. Now, another thing about fighting people that are great at the ground game when you have no stamina is the trying to get out part as far as the advanced moves. Now, a lot of people would say they don't want to use advanced moves. They kind of want to try to deny and block and certain things like that. But what you have to do sometimes is use your advanced moves because you never know what will happen. And you guys see right there, man, I got out of it, I got up, and now we're back standing. Now, the elbows ain't done. I know you guys was like, yo, where the elbows at? And here they are, bro. The spinning elbow is crazy, man. Check this out, guys. Got him on the cage. He tries to shoot. Said, nah, bro. Nah, bro, get these elbows, fam. Look, he wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. He about to drop it like it's hot. Come on, one more, one more. I know it's one more. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Death by spinning elbow. Somebody come clean this man up off aisle eight. He done, man. Somebody need to go get ahead and get that mop. Now, you want to know the funny thing? I got a quick story for you guys. One time I was in Walmart, right? And we spilled, like, bleach and stuff, like, inside the cleaning aisle. A person that worked at Walmart literally grabbed a mop off the rack and start mopping up the floor. Like, has that ever happened to anybody or is it just me? Like, not, they didn't go in the back. They didn't say, you know, let's go get the stuff that Walmart has provided us to clean up aisles and stuff like that. He grabbed a mop off the rack and said, man, I can't. And they just start wiping the stuff up, yo. So my question is, did that mop come out of his pay? I don't know. What you guys think inside the comment section? Do you guys think that this dude paid for that mop inside of Walmart? Literally, he's an employee. Like, this is this is a real story. I can't make this up. I know this has nothing to do with the video, but <laughs> I just want to know. Do you guys think they paid for the mop? Because, of course, I didn't go back to Walmart and ask the dude, like, Hey, yo, remember that, that mess you cleaned up in that aisle with that mop off the rack? Did you get taxed for that? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> so funny no. and it is time to celebrate guys i am now the number one contender check out the gif right here i put a beating on this dude let me know how cheesy this move is inside the comments goodness gracious i can't believe it man but hey guys i want to make sure that you enjoyed your stay here um we do have a ufc minute coming up and just to let you guys know my next video is against the champ so i just want to let you guys know to get prepared because the next fight is going to be greatness, man. We might even go five rounds. Okay, I'm lying. You know I'm a knockout artist. Stop playing. Let's get it. I'm Megan Olivi, and this is your UFC Minute. As the fighters' wins begin to add up, the pressure to maintain momentum becomes a major factor. To win in the UFC isn't easy. To do it as many times in a row as this heavyweight standout has, is a remarkable feat that has this fighter on the verge of even more big things in the world-renowned octagon as he prepares for his latest battle in mixed martial arts ultimate proving ground that's it for today stay tuned for your next ufc minute and i'll see you at the fights 
all right guys this is the end of the video i hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button i hope you guys like this video let's get this thing to 5,000 likes and this is your boy ikc signing out peace